President Donald Trump giving his second State of the Union address last night. The speech was delayed for weeks due to the partial government shutdown. The president called for Democrats and Republicans to work together. Our Roslyn Flaherty joins us now with the details. Roslyn? Olivia, the president addressed a number of topics. He did not address the longest government shutdown in U.S. history, and it has people talking. The president of the United States! In his second State of the Union address, President Donald Trump called for unity while covering a variety of topics, including building a border wall. We must choose between greatness or gridlock, results or resistance, vision or vengeance. The 82-minute speech received mixed reviews. WTAG talk show host Jim Polito says it depends what side you're on. If you look at some of the initial polling right after, I mean, he did well. He did very, very well. A lot better than probably the reaction that you saw from a lot of the Democrats. Democratic Congressman Jim McGovern was in the chamber Tuesday. He's skeptical of the speech, saying actions speak louder than words. The president talked about unity, but for the last two years, uh, he's been the most divisive and polarizing figure uh, in our political system. President Trump did not address the longest government shutdown in U.S. history or the potential for another shutdown on February 15th if lawmakers can't come to an agreement about funding for the border wall. McGovern says he doesn't want to waste money. He wants to invest it in other ways to protect the border. It almost seemed like the president was itching for another shutdown. There are better ways to patrol our border um, in this day and age. Uh, in, you know, there's, there's new technologies. There's drones. There's sensors. Uh, they the people at the border said they need more personnel. Polito says he thinks it was wise for President Trump not to address the shutdown and says the president won't give up on the wall because he needs it for a second term. I think a lot of people expected him to say, I'm going to use my emergency powers and I'm going to build that wall. No, what he did instead was appeal to the American people, made the case. Here's the human trafficking. Here's the drugs. Here's the amount of murder that's going on. It makes sense in certain points to have a wall. He needs to keep his base. And if he doesn't give them part of that, then the base is going to leave him. And you have to remember that he won the election partly on that issue. McGovern says there was a bipartisan spending agreement between Republicans and Democrats in Congress to keep to keep the government open. He says the partial government shutdown should have never happened. Rosalind Flaherty, Worcester News Tonight.